Bro, where is my color at? It's okay. Summer is coming and I'm going to be outside. The color will come back. Y'all can't even see my earrings. I got new earrings. What's up, y'all? Should I take my glasses off? I've been liking keeping my glasses on, child, because I can actually see what I have going on. Check the fit. You know what I'm saying? We got a little skirt. Some little, some pearls. You know what I'm saying? Got the little sleeveys. Get into her. Hello, 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 booktubing world. It is I, Capri Nicole, and I'm back with another video. We have another episode of Letters and Lattes. Which, if you don't know, Letters and Lattes is basically where I... I just started the series. It's like the second video. <laughs> but it's just where we like go to different coffee shops and read manga. Today, the coffee shop that we're going to be going to is called Just Add Honey. And I think it's like a coffee and a tea shop. Which is like... It's more my vibe because like I like I'm more of a tea person. I don't really drink coffee like that. Like sometimes if I'm craving coffee, if I have like breakfast, I'm like, oh, I have some coffee on the side of that, you know, like every once in a while. But it's just really not my thing. Usually if I get coffee, I usually get like a chai latte, but I just be so I don't want to say tired, but I, you know, it, there's other places to go besides Starbucks. So of course I wanted to try some different places and bring the island with me you know what I'm saying I love bringing the island with me and if my voice sounds a little bit deep it's because it's very early in the morning it's gonna be a little bit of a drive to get there so I figure we go like as soon as like right around the time that they open I'm excited to go there and take you guys with me and the books that I have on my TBR for today you might have seen in a recent vlog if you haven't I will put it up here it's where I went to Savannah and I think I got these at the comic book store so the first one I have is fairy tell and one of you guys was telling me this is like one of your favorite animes so I'm hoping I enjoy this because I've heard really good things about the anime so I'm gonna try out the manga first and then see how it goes and then I also have tombs by Junji Ito I haven't seen anyone talk about this it's a little bit long so I don't know if I'm gonna finish it in this vlog but we're going to be reading it in this vlog so we'll see how it goes child but fairy tale and tomb is it tombs tombs are gonna be the tbr for today i'm excited to read it i've actually this reminds me i know you guys always want to hear about like what animes i'm currently watching i did a little poll on the island chow and i was asking y'all like what anime i should watch next because i was watching hunter hunter and this whole chimera and the ant queen plot line they're really losing me with that like i simply don't care but like a couple of the most recent episodes have gotten back to like the fighter like hunter assassin plot they're doing it to take down this ant queen or whatever but like it's kind of get back getting back into those vibes so i got up to episode i think episode 92 on hunter hunter and i'm, I'm gonna pump the brakes. so basically i asked you guys on the island what i should watch next if i should get further into hunter hunter or if i should start something new or if i should do both and what I wanted to start new, which was the top of my TBR, or the top of my watch list, was Black Clover. I really like animes that have, like, magic and stuff in it, so I've been trying to find more like that. And I've heard really good things about Black Clover, so I wanted to watch that, and you guys said to do both. So I set a specific episode goal <laughs> for Hunter x Hunter, and the episode goal was 90, and I got to 92. So I might try a little bit, you know, a few more episodes to get to like 100, get a little bit deeper into it. But this season, child, I think it goes up to like, it goes from like episode like 70 to 136. It's like, come on. Like, and the and on top of that, I'm not even enjoying the plot line. So there's that. But I got to episode 92, so then I started Black Clover. I'm on episode 3 of Black Clover. I'm really enjoying it, so I'm glad that I started that. But that's just like a little update on like what I'm currently watching. I need to get on the road because I want to get there, you know, it, it looks like it's going to be raining today. Today's going to be a rainy day. Not excited for that, but today is going to be raining, so I wanted to get on the road before it gets too, too bad. I've never been here before, but it will be nice to be, like, in a tea shop while it's raining and reading. You know, I feel like that'll be, like, a cool vibe. So we're going to pack up the little tote bag, and we're going to be on our way. So I will see y'all in the next clip. Bye. I don't need a 
out in public, you don't know me, keep it swag. In the bedroom, I be screaming, but outside, I keep it quiet. You know, I'm ski, I'm the lowest of the lowest. And see if you can keep it, ain't nobody knows. I need to get the f*** on my space. The pavement's on the way with the red. That pussy's feeling like a great escape.
I think I stayed there for like three hours. That's the thing that I like about going to places like as soon as they open because it's early and it's like not crowded. There's not a whole bunch of people there. Of course, later on, like more people started coming in around like 10, 11. More people started coming in, but you know, I... Child, I do not care. I kept vlogging and kept having a good time, but I had a really good time there. Like the decorations, it felt like it felt like a little house. Like it felt like like going to like I don't know if anybody like lives up north and then they go visit somebody down south, like their family down south. Just like that unplug and go into like a different location. It's just like it feels like that. It just feels like a very like old school, like Southern house. They have the decorations really beautiful. They have so many different loose leaf teas and teapots and syrups and just like a whole bunch of stuff. I definitely think that's gonna be my spot now because it wasn't 45 minutes. It was only like a 30 minute drive. And I usually wake up at three or four o'clock in the morning during the week. So waking up at like six or seven just to go there when they open is not that early for me. And it just like the atmosphere was just so good. The workers were really nice. I just want to try every tea that they have there. I want to buy my own little teapot. Like I'm trying to be like a regular Patreon there and just go there from like 7 to like 11 and just like kick it on Saturdays. Like that is just, that's, I think that's going to be my new spot. I, I'm so glad that I went there. I loved it. They had this amazing playlist. The vibes were immaculate. There was flowers everywhere. Just like flowers, tea, and like good old school R&B. Like that just, that is just my whole, that is just me. The embodiment of me in a business. So it's just like, I just want to go back. It wasn't crazy expensive. So I got two different drinks. The first drink that I got was a latte. And I think it was, I want to say it was like a honey lavender latte with oat milk. It was really good. I love any type of drink that has like a flowery, like a flowery scent or a, like a flowery flavor, like all the lavender teas and, or like something that's like has a spice in it. Those are like my favorite types of teas and coffees. So I got like, I think it was called a honey lavender latte. And then they put the lavender, like they actually put the lavender, like the flowers in the tea. And then the second thing I got, here we go. So I got a good night tea, which was a 12 ounce tea with agave syrup and honey lavender syrup as well. And it was so good. Like, I really don't know how the girls make, like, I know in like London and stuff like that, they put milk in their tea. I don't know how the girls put milk in their tea. I make my tea super American, like heat up my water in the microwave American, like in the microwave, we put the tea bag in, I'm gonna put a couple scoops of honey, a squeeze of lemon, and maybe some some sugar maybe, but like all the milks and teas and syrups and all that stuff, I, I don't know how to do that, child, don't even worry about it, okay? Like I don't know how to do all that, but like she gave me, like that, that it was just so good, it was so good, and I just, I wanna go down their entire menu and just try, try everything they have. So many different types of teas and coffees, and I just, I'm glad I got brought you guys with me to going my first time, but I'm definitely going to be a regular there. Like, I definitely will be going back, but it just was, it was so nice. Like, it was so nice. I definitely feel like I'm going to go back there on Saturdays, just like to chill and just read. It was so nice. I loved it. I really, really loved it. it and it just, it just, yeah. But I also read... I didn't finish this yet, but we'll talk about it. So I read Fairy Tale, which basically follows this world of just like right this this world that has like city people and then they also have wizards and they have knights. So the wizards are basically who like stop the bad guys or like save the world or whatever, but like they're the wizards, they all are in different guilds, and one of the guilds is called Fairy Tale. And the council basically doesn't really like the fairy tale guild because they do save the world or they save people from bad guys and stuff like that or stop like bad things from happening. But they be destroying stuff. So like they don't really have the best reputation. But the, one of the main characters, she ends up, she's like a really big fan of like the fairy tale guild. So she wants to be a part of it. Well, she's also a gatekeeper. So she has a magical ability to enter different worlds so she has different keys and she can request that the gods from those specific worlds 
come and like help her she had a key for the aquarius world she had a key for the taurus world i don't know if it's all zodiac related but i know she just has like she's like a gatekeeper and she has the magical abilities to pull beings from that world to help her in like dangerous situations which is really cool the girl her name is lucy and the guy's name is natsu so yeah lucy has the gatekeeping you know magical ability so she has her little keys with her and she just like is able to request people from different worlds and then natsu was raised by a dragon and now he's a part of fairy tale and he has like fire wielding abilities it's just a really cool world and i feel like this is it's I, i'm enjoying the manga i i am enjoying the manga the art style is really different i'm really <laughs> it's like i don't know it kind of puts me in the mind of like, the girls remind me of, like, the anime Nana, but just, like, the, the way the eyebrows and the face structure and stuff like that is. But, like, I really enjoy the manga, but I feel like it would be cool to watch. I feel like this is giving me the okay to watch the anime. Sometimes mangas, like, when they're more action-packed, they just translate better on animes. But this, I feel like I could easily read it as a manga or watch the anime, but I am enjoying this, so I definitely want to start the, the anime. It was funny, and there's a little sidekick that's this little blue cat. I feel like I've seen these characters before, but I just didn't know, like, who they were. But the sidekick, he's a little blue cat, and he has, like, magical abilities, too. So it's just, like, really cool. It just was, like, a really good introduction to the series. And then I started Tome. So I read three three stories i read two stories in tome the first one was great the first one was the kick off so the first story is tomes and it basically is set in this world where like as soon as people die there wherever they die at a tombstone is created from like their body and it just it was so good like I, it just was it was so good like i honestly think i'm enjoying this more than any other junji ito books i've read i think i've only read I read Shiver, which was a bind up of a few of his stories, and I read Tomi. So this is my third Junji Ito work, but Shiver was like a bind up of a ton of different short stories, and this I feel like is a bind up as well. So I have a good, you know, grasp on Junji Ito's work, and so far I'm really enjoying this because they all of the stories so far have like actual like storylines. Like I don't know how to explain it, but it just like has actual like not plot but just has actual depth to the stories it's not just like really really cool gruesome pictures because usually that's what Junji Ito is known for but like just the story in general is also interesting the second story was a haunted house and it basically was like blocked off and like each level had different ghosts who were like rival ghosts and it had like this history based off of like the people that used to hold meetings there they were like students and there was like this whole thing it it was good i enjoyed that one as well the third story is called like snail girl or something like that so i know it's gonna be just gross but <laughs> i am enjoying it i want to read more of it i am gonna finish it and come back and close the vlog so that i can tell you guys about this but i'm about to clean my house child because i don't even know what happened i just cleaned this house and i swear to god as soon as i cleaned it it's that junky so yeah, I need to clean up. I need to clean, vacuum, sweep, do all that stuff, get my house in order. And then I'll make sure I finish tomes this weekend and come back and close the vlog for you guys and update you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. But, yeah, I had a really, it's a really good outing. It was a really good day. I really had some good mangas, you know, good vibes. I found a new spot, you know what I'm saying. And it just was good. It was a good time. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip with an update and I will close the vlog, okay? Bye. Oh. <laughs> Guess who went to brunch and had some mimosas and will definitely not be reading? This girl right here. Okay, didn't I have never had a mimosa that didn't have champagne in it and it was just tequila? I didn't know that was a thing but it was great and i don't think i'm coherent enough to to read um yeah it's still pretty early so honestly i could like sit down for like an hour and a half for like two hours and finish up tombs but tome is it tome but 
I want to get this vlog up for you guys because it's already edited. I just need the final clip, which is this closing clip. So instead of me finishing this and then uploading this late tonight, I feel like I should just upload this now in the evening. And I can just keep reading this at my own pace. This is like a 300 page book. It is a manga, so it's like three a 300 page manga. But like, I would rather just get this up early and just be done with it because you know Sunday's like prep day for cooking and getting ready for work and stuff like that. So I just don't want to prolong this video longer than I need to, and I have had too many mimosas. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and close this vlog out. I think, well, hopefully in the next vlog that I do, I'll tell you guys more about this one because I'm gonna end up reading it and finishing it this week. I don't know, I feel like this could be a banger as really highly rated on Goodreads, not that that even matters, but I feel like this could be a banger because so far I've enjoyed the first like couple of stories, so I'm excited to see what else Junji Ito will bring in this collection of short stories. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We read Fairy Tale and I started reading tomes and I'm excited to read more of Fairy Tale. I added it to my watch list on Crunchyroll and I'm currently almost on episode 30 of Black Clover. Like, I'm loving that anime. Like, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Like, I am loving it. So, if any of y'all have watched Black Clover or have any recommendations similar to Black Clover, please leave them in the comment section below, okay? But that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are in Atlanta or, or I mean if you're in Georgia please feel free to check out Just Add Honey. The atmosphere was really nice. The people were really cool. They're open really early and have pretty good hours so if you guys want to go you can. I really enjoyed it there. I'm excited to go back there another time but I have plenty other cafes that I want to bring you guys. I've already made my list so this is just one of those spots but next time I go there I'll probably just go by myself but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this vlog let me know if you've read these books let me know something you've done this week that has made you happy or something that you're doing or changing that is making you happy if you made it to the end of this vlog please leave this emoji right here and I will see you guys next week with another vlog this was fun I had a good time <laughs> always remember read a book keep your life interesting and i will see you next time bye